Hey guys, welcome back to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and today I wanted to talk to you about a new plugin for WordPress developed by Google, which could potentially change the way we create content on our WordPress websites. Now, I actually had no idea that they were working on this plugin. I just stumbled across the plugin while I was watching uh, some tutorials on YouTube, and somebody mentioned something about this plugin, and I decided to do some research. Now, the plugin is called Stories for WordPress. Maybe they might change the name later on, I don't know. But right now, it's only available in the beta phase, which means that it's not officially out yet, but you can actually download the plugin and play with it if you want to. I'll have the link to the plugin uh, in the description box below. So the idea behind this plugin is that it's supposed to allow you to create stories on your WordPress website, very similar to what you have on Facebook, Facebook stories, uh, Instagram stories, and so on. So the reason why Google are trying to push this plugin is because they believe, well, it's not actually a belief, it's a fact at this point, that uh, small bits of content as the trend right now. It's the reason why Facebook stories, Instagram stories are so popular. It's the reason why TikTok has become very, very popular as well, because it allows people to create small chunks of content that people can digest very, very, very quickly. So what Google is trying to do right now is to give us the ability as WordPress users to create stories and then embed those stories on our WordPress posts. I'm going to show you how it works in the back end, but let me give you an example of what it looks like. So in one of my sample websites in here where I it's supposed to be basically a blog about travel. I created a story and I embedded it. And here's a story right here. So basically th this story is all about uh, four reasons to visit Brazil, right? And you can see it right now, the way it works is just like your Facebook story. So reason number one is because of the amazing views. And then reason number two, beautiful beaches. Reason number three, adventure. And then reason number four, uh, tasty cocktails. You know, this was just uh, as an example. So you can see the way it looks. And personally, I like it. I think this might actually be an interesting way of presenting content. And it's not gonna matter what you're talking about. You could be talking about anything, whether it's uh, electronics, politics, uh, entertainment, toys, anything. You could easily create these kinds of stories and uh, promote your content. Now, to make this even more interesting, it also allows people to share your stories uh, on social media. So you see right here, you've got this, that, this share button. So anyone can come to this post, click on the share button, and then simply get the link and then paste it wherever they want to paste it to, maybe on Facebook, Twitter, wherever. And also, if you are an affiliate marketer, maybe you have a blog and you promote affiliate products, you can include one affiliate link in your stories. It sucks because imagine if you are promoting three, four, five different products in your story. Well, too bad you can only promote one single so one single uh, a product. So maybe they might change that a bit later, but for now you can only promote one single product. So overall, I, I think it's a good idea. I don't know if it will become the next big thing it could be it could become the next uh, Google Plus that went nowhere. So we'll have to wait and see. But uh, let me give you an idea of how it actually works uh, in the back end. All right. So when you've installed and activated the plugin, you will see stories right here. You simply click on add new. And the whole idea here is you choose a background, which could either be an image or a video. Now, these images are gotten directly from your media library. But of course, you can upload uh, new images if you wanted to. You can also use videos as your background if you wanted to, but I'm going to stick with an image. So let's choose the Brazilian flag uh, here as an example. I'm going to click on it. Now you could either decide to manually drag the edges to make it fill the width and height of the container, or you could just set the background image, set the image as a background right here. Click on set as background and there you go. Next, you want to add some overlay. So you have different options in here. I'm going to go with solid. And of course, I'll stick with the black overlay color, but I'm going to make it a bit darker. So I'll go with 50%. And then I can come over here, click in here, add heading. And I, let's just call this one uh, four reasons to uh, visit Brazil. And of course, you can come over here, change the color of your text from black to white. 
press enter and oh sorry we actually do need to highlight the text sorry about that so let's go back in here let me just highlight the text first of all then from here i'm going to make this fff fff okay there you go so now it is white and of course you can expand the text area to make the text bolder or you can come in here right now and change the size to something a lot bigger you can drag let me just expand this to the center right there let's align this to the center and um, there you go so right now you've got your story you could of course add a link if you wanted to so uh, down here you will have access to the link tab where you can add the link for your text if of course you want to link it to an external site or maybe uh, use an affiliate link and that's pretty uh, much it so up here you can add a title for the story so I'll just call this one uh, Brazil just as an example right I'm gonna go ahead now and hit publish and there you go so now you can view the story and see what it looks like very very important you want to grab the URL for the story because we're going to embed the URL so I'm gonna grab the URL right here and let's try to embed this story in one of our posts I'm gonna go with the one for uh, let's see fashion in Istanbul just as an example okay I'm gonna click on edit so to embed the post we're gonna make use of the Gutenberg block so I'll click on plus right here and then you would find under embeds web story you click on web story and then you can simply now paste the link and then embed and there you go so let me just go ahead and maybe align this to the center let's update the post and uh all right let's go ahead now and preview the post so you can see what it will look like and uh there you go so that's the the the, the story right there so before i run this so let me just show you something in the back end uh, if you go to stories you go to dashboard uh, right here you will have access to all the stories that you've uh, created so under my stories you would see them in here but you can also explore some pre-built templates right now they only have uh, I believe this is eight they only have eight templates this might increase when the final version of the plugin is released but you can choose from a template in here and begin uh, doing your editing before publishing the post so that's basically how uh, the plugin works all right, so that's basically how to make use of the stories for WordPress plugin by Google. And I think it's an exciting plugin with a lot of potential. And the thing is, maybe the new algorithm for ranking your posts on the first page of Google might involve using stories. Maybe stories might become very, very important. So now that you are aware, I think it's important for us to keep track of the plugin and ensure that when it becomes finally released, we're able to use the plugin and get ahead of our competition. Maybe we should start uh, creating stories for our posts. However, I would recommend that you, you could download the beta version and test it out just to see for yourself. But more importantly, uh, keep track of when the plugin will be released. Now, down here under their FAQs, they do say that the final version will be released later in the summer. So that could mean either end of this month or the end of next month. I'm gonna do my best to keep track of the plugin and when it's officially released, I will most likely make another full tutorial because they do say that there will be new features added uh, such as uh, animation and page attachment support. So it's likely I'll create another tutorial uh, describing how to use the plugin uh, in full because again, this could give us a serious advantage over our competition. My only concern with this plugin is the fact that if, if we're going to create stories with the WordPress plugin by Google, Google will have access to our content. And look, I've had my issues with Google when it comes to content and privacy. And I don't know what the management policy is going to be regarding the stories. I don't know how they're going to use the stories. I don't know. That's my only gripe because now we're creating content that a third party is going to have uh, access to. So that's my only concern. I just hope that uh, they will have a very clear and transparent policy, <laughs> which <laughs> probably isn't going to be. But nevertheless, uh, I'll keep track of this plugin and see 
how it eventually uh, turns out uh, to become. So that's it for today's video. Just wanted to introduce you to the new plugin, the new exciting plugin by Google for WordPress uh, Stories. And uh, of course, if you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments about this, you know, let me know what you think. You know, put it, put them down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this plugin and whether or not you will be using the plugin uh, when it is released. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from it. And as always, I am Alex and uh, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.